What it do? What's up? What's poppin'? Talk to me, spirit. If you're new to the channel, welcome and thank you for stopping by. If you like the words that's coming out of my mouth, hit that like, subscribe, leave a comment. You know, welcome, join the Talk to Me Spirit family. We grow, each one teach one. What it do, fam? What's up? What's up? Can your homegirl get some love? Thank you for the love. Thank you for the support. Thank you for being you. Because you got this, baby. Can't nobody do it like you. If you're breathing, you are achieving. If you're dreaming, you can achieve it. If you're dreaming, it's yours. All right? So, today is 222, a very powerful a uh, portal plus today is thursday thursday is over jupiter jupiter is rule is over sagittarius okay so today is a good day to manifest that money see it as you are law of attraction is yours claim it um let's clear the air before i get into anything else breathe in Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. I want you to release all that negativity. All love it. Release it from you. It does not resonate with you. We're going to say, I am so grateful. The universe is working for my highest good. And I'm saying thank you right now for all the blessings that's coming towards me. I am saying thank you right now because I am opening to receive everything that's meant for me. I am blessed by all the beautiful miracles the universe has given me today in the future. The universe is always working in my favor because I am too blessed to be stressed. All right, let's close it out. Breathe in, breathe out. All right, as you know, this is every master was a student. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. When the teacher is ready, the master will appear. When the master is ready, God will appear. We all are learning. It's a each one teach one. Okay? Never think that you know everything because you don't. Every master, like I said, was once a student. Every master was once a teacher. Like I said, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. When the teacher is ready, the master will appear when the master is ready god will appear all right let's get into the messages i accept with my team i am the voice of the voiceless let's see what messages are coming out for you the number four can be significant okay remember on four four we have a powerful portal you could be born on april 4th all right Let's see what else is coming out. One more card, Spirit. They gave me two more. Thank you. We have firm foundation. A lot of y'all are moving into stability. All right? You're starting to put yourself first. You're starting to walk away from things that no longer resonate, resonate with your highest good. You're learning to slow down. You're starting to learn. There's different ways that you can maneuver over things. There's different ways to solve a problem. There's different ways to a lot of things. Y'all are stepping into peace. Okay? You're learning everything. You don't have to do everything by yourself. You're learning to let go and let God. I am being, I am a being of love. And I release all negative energies. You have to imagine peace. Um, love is a verb, guys. Love is not a noun. Love is a verb. 
Love is an action. Love is releasing. Love is receiving. Love is a verb. So y'all gonna have to start using it as a verb, okay? A lot of y'all are sacrificing your needs for other people. And you're learning that it's not getting you anywhere. You're learning that you're feeling stuck, a lot of stagnant energy. You're learning and wondering why you're at the crossroads. This is the year of karma. Four goes back to karma. You are that people pleaser. What did I say? Love is a verb. Stop pleasing people. Stop putting your needs first. Stop sacrificing yourself. Stop letting people deplete you. Stop letting people dump on you. Okay, that's why you keep repeating the same cycle. That's why you feel like you're not going anywhere. Okay, 12 can be significant to you. 12 breaks down to three, communicating. As above, so below. Every student, when the students are ready, the teacher will appear. When the teacher's ready, the master will appear. When the master's ready, God will appear. Communication collaborating okay each one teach one if they not for you baby they are against you if they're not pouring back into you how you pour back into them it's a verb it's not an action it's depleted it's one-sided it's one-sided you have a glass the glass is empty you keep pouring from that full glass and that glass is full running over. And then when you look back at you, you empty because that person is not pouring it back into you. When it's equal, you pour and then they say, uh-uh, that's enough, that's enough, thank you, thank you. And then it becomes even, okay? It becomes an action. It becomes balance. Love is a verb. It's not a noun. It's not a noun, it's a verb. Start showing gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunity that it presents. Life presents you with many options, many choices. It's up to you how you're going to take this present. Are you going to take your present that the past gave you to change it and give it to the future for a better future? Or are you going to take this present and just focus on it and learn from it, value this? Or are you going to take this present and give it back to the past? I am thankful for this life and the opportunity that it presents. Presents turns into a present. You have choices how you want to do with that present moment. Fear. I realize that I am testing my resolve I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. A lot of y'all are fear for a love because love hurts you. Once again, hurt is an action. It wasn't returned back to you. You feel like a failure. Failure is an action. You feel like, you know, you're never going to get presented with that present again. That is not true. Love is always given to you. It depends on what you're doing with it. All right. They want you to navigate carefully. Because spirits are making a present long. Spirits are talking to you. How do you manure out of a storm? How do you manure out of a different different difficult situation when you having a messed up day and it seems like everything is negative everything is going wrong how do you win at that praise is what i do you have to praise you have to speak positivity during a storm positivity outweighs the bad good always way back uh outweighs the bad you have to put an action to it. You can't just stand still. 
stand still is no action. Okay? You have to like, no, not today. I rebuke that. No, I'm not. I'm going to do something about it. Action. Get things going. You got to walk it like you talk it. People just want to be, uh, give reviews and, and testimonies, not testimonies. You want to, a lot of y'all, I'm not speaking to all of, all of y'all, I got to use this correctly. A lot of people, you only talk to God when things ain't going right, when things go left. It's like, that's the only time you really talk to God. You never talk to God for letting you get your rent on paid, your bills are getting paid, your car got gas in it, your belly no hungry. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all don't thank God when waking you up in the morning, you can breathe on your own without oxygen, without life support. Okay, you don't have a machine breathing for you. You can walk to the restroom. You can stand in the shower. You can cleanse your own self. You don't need nobody feeding you or, I mean, feeding you like manually. You have to give thanks for the good things and thanks for the bad things. Once you start reversing that, you're going to start seeing a big difference. Spirit wants y'all to navigate carefully. No one likes to be around somebody that complain all the time. That's the first thing we do as humans. We complain, 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 complain. I admit it. I have my days. What complaining? What's it going to do? What's it going to do? It ain't going to get you nowhere. You got to start putting action to it. What can I do to change this energy? What can I do to prevent this from not happening again? You need to be open to receive. So, what do I mean by that? Man, it seems like I'm doing everything by myself today. Ain't nobody in here. Am I the only one working? Am I the only one clocked in? What can you do about that? But hey, I got a job. There's people that don't have a job. Extra load, extra work, job security. Man, I'm tired of eating ramen every day. How can you change that? It's food. There's people living out in the street, digging in a garbage can. They don't have nothing. You see how you can switch that? I have to do it myself. Each one teach one. Be open to receive. Clarity comes when a mind is quiet. You can't think when someone's always dumping stuff on you. You can't think when it's always something negative. That's why you have to reverse that. You have to reverse everything and be open. Change that energy. Energy is fluid. This is where the alchemists come in. You are that alchemy. You are that alchemist. This is where alchemy come in. You can change any situation to a positive. A lot of y'all get ready to start your new life. That's why you're getting tested. That's why you're going through this, what y'all want to say, punishment, but it's not a punishment. Okay? Once again, the past gave you a present. You have a present. So, use the verb, what am I going to do this? And I'm going to go back to the past and keep repeating it because I'm a test tube baby and I ain't learning. Or I'm going to take this present, give it to the future. But don't you think before you give it to the future, you got to work on this present and see how it can benefit you to see how you can make it fit your lifestyle. So you learn in the present moment. So when you present it to the future, you're not going back to what was. Action is a verb. Your life as you know it looks differently than before or soon will. It depends on how you do in the present with the present. The universe has a plan for you. And the plan is a journey to fulfillment. You're going through a transformation. You need to spend time in solitude. You need to spend time in nature. You need to spend time and get to know you. Deprogram yourself. Once again, you lost yourself. As soon as you was born, you got assigned a number. Or an ITN number, an IN number, if you're from the islands. You got assigned a number. Then you was raised a certain way. You was seeing things 
in you was fed things. You heard things was fed to you. So it was reprogramming you. Like, is this love? Is this how you're supposed to be treated? Are you supposed to touch people like this? But out there, okay, you have to spend time alone, spend time healing yourself, spend time in nature to deprogram yourself. This is where fear come in. False evidence appearing real. That is what fear is. False evidence appearing real. You're either going to face everything and rise and be an overcomer, verb, or you're going to face everything and run, coward, repeating, repeating, karma. When you run, you're repeating it. That's why you keep running. Everything is happening in divine timing. So they want you to start showing gratitude. All is happening in universal timing. When spirit knows you have done the work and you are ready. Yes, I am repeating myself. When spirit knows you have done the work and you are ready. When a stupid student is ready, the teacher will appear. When a teacher is ready, the master will appear. When a master is ready, that's when God will appear. Spend time alone. Spend time in nature. You're going through a transformation. The universe has a plan for you. And it's part of it is peace. When you have peace of mind, can nothing you unfaze. It's like you in la la land. It's like you're not really here. That's why they say be of the world, but not part of the world. Be open to receive. When you open and receive, you got to change that negativity because when you open, you got to be ready. Just like soccer. When they kick it, the goalie blocks it. You got to be ready. When you're in baseball, you got to be there when you're in the outfield. You got to be ready. You're the alchemist. You can transmute that into what you want. That's what the present moment is. All right? You are going to enjoy your new life. And in your new life, a lot of people is not going to come with you. You're going to spend time in nature, spend time alone, focus on the present that your past gave you. Deepening a relationship to thyself. Living consciously. Igniting your passions. Did you hear me? Your. That's a word. Powerful uh, four-letter word is your. Very powerful. Just like I am is very powerful. I am is very powerful. A lot of y'all just don't know how I am is. For example, Mono, mm, Ronald McDonald. I'm going to use Ronald McDonald very business owner ronald mcdonald said i am not feeling well today he just spoke that and all of a sudden he's going to get sick i am healing today i am too blessed to be stressed i am positive i am walking in my power there you go you just created that energy you just was the alchemist okay a lot of y'all are going to be spending time together with people that resonate with your highest good once again two glass one is empty, one is full. You pouring into the one that's on your level. No, that's enough. You need some for yourself. You know, it's equal. Stop spending time with people. This glass is empty. And you pour it all into them. And there you go, empty. And they walk away with a glass. Didn't say thank you. Didn't show no type of remorse. Didn't say anything. There you go, depleted. And you're thirsty. You're drying all out. They want you to start living consciously. You're going through a major transformation. This 222, 222 portal is very powerful. Okay? It's over Jupiter, Sagittarius energy. Today is a good day for transformation. You're shedding layers. You like that onion. That onion had many, many, many layers. And it's going to make you cry. But you can dry your tears up. Artichoke has many, many layers before you get to the heart. You're shedding layers of your life, all right? And when you detach from that old way, you cry it because it hurts, all right? Relationships and external factors, they no longer serve your highest good. Your highest purpose must fade away. These karmas can be good karmas and bad karmas. Y'all gonna be seeing the messages from your past because you're trying to heal. You're going to be receiving rest, uh, messages from your spiritual team. 
everything is happening in divine timing once again it's your choice what you want to do with that present that was presented to you energies are intensifying a lot of y'all are feeling restless it's because you're in a new energy and your body's not used to it you got to breathe you got to calm your mind you have to release you have to start saying no pay attention to the science of synchronicity start healing your heart embrace this change with positivity embrace this change and be open to receive release what's not meant for you remember love is a verb it's an action stop seizing an opportunity a lot of y'all are blocking yourself because fear false evidence appearing real face everything and rise in your power face everything and run and repeat the cycle over again Spirit is saying, when it's over, it's over, baby. When it's over, it is over, baby. It's not igniting your passion. It's actually putting out your fire. You need to be with people that can keep your fire going and watering you at the same time. Even though others may influence us, we must take charge of our own destiny. Everybody is not meant to come with us. Stop trying to make everybody see what you see. Some people are, are never meant to be awake. They meant to be asleep. What else do they need to know, spirit? Annoying. Someone is annoying you, triggering you. That's your body telling you you need to heal. And that's somebody telling you that's low vibrational. They 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 ciphering you. They draining you. Block them. Phone calls, random texts from unknown numbers. Block it. Okay, this is what I'm hearing. Block it. Anything that's annoying you, walk away and release it. Causing you to feel tired and fatigued. Energy vampire unexplained freak accidents monetary spirits you're talking too much envision your children envision envious of your children they can't get to you they go through your bloodline your children amp up your protection of your children okay pregnancy stop letting everybody know you pregnancy you remember that old tale you're not supposed to mention you pregnant because the first three months is critical but honestly any all months is pr uh, critical but the first three is where you can really lose it so you keep quiet all right say someone that can't have any children it could be your best friend it could be a family member okay first of all this person is jealous because they were like why you get to be this happy why you get to this all right and plus they want children they married they married the wrong one. This is story time. And plus they barren, can't have no children. So that's double whammy. Okay. She's always telling you what you need to do in your relationship. She's always telling you this. And you up there thinking like, okay, uh, how come you ain't doing it? How come you ain't pleasing your man? You quick to give me advice. Monetary spirit. You and your husband. Y'all doing good. Spirit tell you, stop talking. Stop talking. Especially like your husband bought you this. Your husband's taking you there. Stop talking. Because her husband is not doing diddly whitly for her. Jealousy. Envious. You start talking. Bam. Bam. Sending stuff. There you are. You and your husband change. Something's wrong. The relationship's off. Monetary spirit. She know you always want children. She can't. Y'all both trying at the same time. It ain't happening for her. You find out you're pregnant. First example. Girl, I'm pregnant. Mm. Good for you. You see how dry that was? Sarcastic. Mm. Are you ready for that? Mm. Next thing you know it, she's like, girl, I'm going to pray for you. All that malice and hurt in her heart. She's praying for you. Next thing you know it, she's sending stuff. Next thing you know it, oh, man, I'm cramping. I had a miscarriage. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe it wasn't meant to be. Monetary spirit. Scenario two, girl, what you up to? Nothing. You get you gaining weight, yeah, girl. You know I just like to eat. Y'all go out. Ooh, something's making me sick. You are right? you pregnant? Nah, girl, I don't think I'm pregnant. Nah, I don't think so. Mm mm. 
You know, we both trying. When it happens, it happens, girl. You know you'd be the first to know. Moving in silence. Next thing you know it, you six months. Girl, you pre yeah. How come you didn't tell me? You know, it just, you know, things happen. Just slipped my mind. There you go. You move in silence, okay? Same way with your children. If your children's gifted, your children doing the things, going to school, a college and stuff, their children's on drugs, monetary spirit, learn to move in quiet. Everybody's uh, not meant to hear your blessings. Your ex is praying on your downfall of your new love interest. Your ex think you supposed to run after them because he felt like he was your everything. Your life depended on him. You was codependent. Okay, you you finally chose you. You realized that wasn't your happiness. So you moved and found someone. You started waiting. You started working on you. He was like, okay, why is she not this? Why is she not letting me get those booty calls? What's going on? So all of a sudden, he find out because you're like, I found somebody else. You shouldn't do that. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, intimacy issues, STDs, common infection, UTI, infertility. When y'all going out on a date, Y'all first date should go get an STD check. If that person don't want to go with you to get an STD check, and they say, why we need to do this? I don't got nothing. Then let's go. If they don't flag one, move on. Possessive, an element, ele amulet, and have it blessed with protection. Y'all need to get something to bless you with protection. Dang, don't it? Monetary spirits. Okay. This is what I'm hearing. All the whole deck came out. Spirit, I'm not going to do this whole deck. They said, don't tell me what to do. All right, let's get into it. What else do they need to... Boo! This is happening quickly. Everything is moving when you start focusing on you. Everything is going to happen quickly for y'all. Okay, a lot of communications going on. Good and bad. Open to receive. Receive. Remember, action is a verb. Okay? Make something with that present that the past is getting ready to bring back to you. A lot of y'all walking away. The number 88 could be significant. Y'all walking away from things. Y'all starting to release. Like I said, y'all starting to uh, make use of that present in the present moment. Y'all stop focusing on the future because time doesn't exist. You start focusing on the present moment. Y'all walking away from the past. And y'all walking towards y'all future though. But you focusing on the present moment. You starting to focus on you. Alright. What did I say? You choose you. You starting to give options. You have a lot of options. Love is coming towards you. Because you walking into love. And then those people are going to be jealous. That is a monetary spirit. A lot of y'all are walking. It could be a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. Y'all walking away from. Or y'all could be having an air sign coming towards you. But I'm picking up heavily on Gemini. I could be talking to a Gemini. Sun, moon, rising, uh, Venus placement cups. You're walking into your higher purpose. And people are getting mad, mad because you're starting to move in silence. You're starting to understand that everything is a verb. When it's a verb, it's an action. Action talks louder than words. You got to walk it like you talk it. So you have to walk and talk at the same time. Okay? You got to keep that balance. Once again, every student is a teacher. Every teacher was once a student. So when a student is ready, the teacher will appear. When a teacher is ready, the masters will appear. When a master is ready, God will appear. You are going to be helping a lot of people because those sufferings, those things you thought was a punishment, was your test. That test becomes a testimony. And that's how you're going to be able to help people because you healed thyself. You started working on that present that was presented to you. You're going to get your wishes and your hopes. Everything is coming to creation. But you got to learn to move in silence because you have to learn to walk away. You got to learn because there's people that's jealous of you. This is the alchemy. The magic is in you. Okay? You stepping into balance. Sagittarius energy. You moving forward. 11-11. Okay? You learning to move in silence. Every magician does not reveal its secrets. They learn certain things are meant to take to the grave. Okay? 
Be mindful of your words, your thoughts, everything, because you're being watched. Things are ending for you. All right, let's get into some numbers, and then I'm going to call it a day. What messages? 2121, it's time to level up. Things may be tough right now, but all is according to plan and happening for your greatest good. Two more cards, Spirit. 606, keep the faith. All that you need will be provided by the universe in divine timing. 2020, push harder. Don't give up. Don't give in. You have all that you need to make your dreams come true. You are that alchemist. You are that magician. The word of the day is verb is an action peace love and light i shall